Let's learn about tuples. Tuples are a lot like lists, just a sequence of elements. However, they have one big difference. You cannot change a tuple once it's been made. A list is meant for data where you need an unknown or changing number of things. A tuple is meant for data where you have a fixed number of things. A literal tuple value is just like a list, except instead of square brackets, we use parentheses. Curiously, the parentheses are not technically required, but they are almost always used. With a list, you usually want each element to be of the same type, although technically this is also not enforced by Python. Tuples, however, end up with many different types. In the example shown here, the tuple is composed of a string, an integer, and a boolean. This also demonstrates how you can use indexing syntax to access an element of a tuple. As previously mentioned, a tuple has a fixed size. Typically, a tuple has at least two elements, although you could conceivably create an empty tuple. The important thing to remember is that tuples never change size once they have been created. So why are tuples useful? The secret is that they can show up when we want to explicitly talk about a specific number of things. For example, you might have a database where every phone number has three parts divided by dashes. The following code will split the phone number into three pieces. Notice that we have a comma separated list of variables on the left. This is known as multiple assignment, and it is extremely useful and common in Python. Remember though, only variables and commas can be on the left side of the equal sign. Tuples can also be used for multiple iteration variables. We actually saw this previously when we iterated over dictionaries, and the dot items method returned a key and a value pair. This pair was actually a tuple, so we had two variables to store each value. The built-in zip function can actually accomplish a similar behavior. It consumes two lists and pairs the elements together. The name zip comes from the idea of zippering together the two lists. Tuples are actually very similar to dictionaries used as records in their own way. Instead of using string keys, they use a numeric index. This is a trade-off. The meaning of the tuple indexes are less clear, but they are more concise than dictionary keys. Because the comma is what defines a tuple, a common syntax mistake is to accidentally create a tuple. Consider the expression shown. Because of the accidental comma on the end, it will create a tuple with just one string element instead of just a string. Another common mistake is to use redundant parentheses to accidentally create tuples. This happens very easily in function calls. Notice the redundant parentheses here pass in a tuple of four numbers to this function instead of passing the four numbers directly. Parentheses may seem like a harmless addition to your code, but they can dramatically change its meaning.